when you're practicing. Really get specific of what you're trying to do and if you can use a launch monitor and that can help you with that feedback. Welcome back everybody. Thank you for being here and clicking on my channel. So, past month or so, I've been trying to really dissect my tournament rounds after the round is over to see where I need to improve and what areas I need to practice and focus on during my practice sessions rather than just getting up there and hitting and hitting and thinking it's one thing when it's really another area. So one thing I noticed was that Every time I had a chance to hit the green in regulation, that shot I had 15 times that was an eight iron or less. So it wasn't very many long irons in. It was an eight iron or less, which for me is about 160 and in. Now the bulk of them were pitching wedge and less. Uh, and so what I noticed was that 50 to 70 yard range, sorry, 50 to 90 yard range was a bulk of them from short par fours and attacking the par fives so that I had a wedge in. I had one drivable par four in my last event, and so I had a chip, greenside chip, but I noticed that it was 50 to 90. So I'm going to spend most of my time honing in on those yardages, including an eight iron including full swing pitching wedge. Um, but the fact that it's the lower part of my bag tells me that it's really attainable to start hitting the ball closer, making more birdies and shooting lower scores. It's hard to hit greens when you're trying to always hit five irons, six irons into greens. The fact that it's eight iron less tells me I can go low if I just focus a little bit more on those areas. So today I'm using my GC Quad, which if you have access to any launch monitor, I would do that. And so I'm using this for 50 yards. And so as I set up here, I'm trying to figure out and notice every time I hit it, what I need to adjust. So that one flew 50 yards in the air, 6,600 spin, 31 launch. I would have wanted it to spin a little more and launch a little lower. So let's see if we can get that down. But I feel like I swung with enough speed and I feel like I swung back far enough. Eh, not my best on that one. 48, launched a little higher. I didn't like how I dug as much on that one. And so I'm gonna sit here and work on it and groove it. So, 51, launch still high, so let's keep seeing if we can get that down throughout this practice session. Fifty one again. So when you're practicing, really get specific of what you're trying to do. And if you can use a launch monitor and that can help you with that feedback. I wasn't trying to do anything technical and sit here and feel where my club was. I was just simply trying to hit my yardage, trying to hit it lower so that I can repeat that more and more and more. Start dissecting your rounds, especially your tournament rounds, to know where you need to practice. 